So I started in the military in uh, January of 1990, listed in the Marine Corps. Enjoyed it, loved the Marine Corps. The Army came out with a try one, which is uh, you enlist for one year. If you don't like it, you walk away, no strings attached. So I did a try one. So that was back in April of 2000, and here I still am in the Kansas Army National Guard. I had an uncle that served um, in the Marine Corps in Vietnam. My father served, my grandparents have, you know, served, you know, back in World War II. So it, kind of a family tradition. It's, it's just kind of hard to put into words what it is, you know. Um, the challenge of, of trying to be one of the best, you know. I, I served in Camp Pendleton, two tours in Okinawa, and then, you know, your, your normal schooling and, and all that. I was also on Marine Corps Air Station El Toro for a few years. And then obviously, you know, the date time frame of 90 to 98, I was in the first Gulf War. A lot of long, hot days over there. And then uh, since I've been in, in, the, in the Guard, been called up seven times, served uh, five combat tours and, and two non-combat tours overseas. I am currently serving as a Command Sergeant Major of a field artillery unit. I enjoy it. So I, I'm going to keep on serving as long as they'll keep me. And, and that kind of is also a segue into why we're kind of doing this, too. This is, this is a service to the American public, too, right? You know, not everybody can jump in that truck and, 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 and drive uh, foodstuffs around. So it's just uh, kind of part of who we are and what we like to do. So here we are. I wanted to start driving. Since I was a young kid, you know, I, I lived right on a major highway back in rural Kansas. Used to watch the trucks roll by all the time, and you know, a little kid out there, you know, it used to really stoke me up a lot, you know, to have a have a truck driver blow his horn as he went by. So it's kind of something I've always been a little interested in, and uh, my partner and I saw an opportunity this spring, and uh, here we are. So work ethic in the in the military versus being a, a truck driver, I think there's a lot of similarities, right? You're always on the go, always doing something, and then you stop. Long days, long hours, you know, both of those are very common. Military helps in the regard of uh, uh, mental toughness, right? You know, the flexibility of, uh, you know, stuff changes all the time. And that happens in the trucking industry all the time too. So the Army and the Marine Corps have given me the tools to be able to adapt. My experience is driving with a team. So far it's been a little challenging. Um, learning to, to sleep in that truck while it's moving. Um, what works best for me, what works best for my partner, uh, who drives when, you know. There's a lot of facets, as, as all the drivers and everybody up here knows. What do you like the most about driving as a team? Getting to spend all my time with her. Shoot, we've been together for, well, we've been friends for, what, probably almost 15 years now. We love spending time together. It, it's been, I think it's been good for us. It's actually helped our relationship a little bit. We're uh, learning things about each other that, that we hadn't known. We looked at a lot of companies before deciding on night, and uh, lots of discussion. And every time we talked about where we we're going to do, what we're going to, what's going to be the best fit, we always came back to night. I love running Reefer out of Kansas City. Uh, the team there is extraordinary especially I mean, my driver manager, Chris Shell, he understands the human side of this as well, you know, and, and has some compassion in there. It's been an extraordinary uh, find for us, I think. Um, night, I, we, can't, we can't imagine going anywhere else. We're, I think we're pretty, we're pretty dedicated to the night team and night family.